microscope. It is important to understand that in microbiology, we are dealing with very small organisms. Therefore, it's very important to learn how to use the microscope correctly. In order to learn how to use the microscope properly, it is important to learn about the various parts and what they do. The first parts that are visible are the arm and the base. These are important as you carry the microscope holding on to these with two hands, one on the arm and one on the base. The ocular lens are the set of lenses that extend from the top of the microscope. These are the lenses that you look through. Most microscopes are binocular and have two ocular lenses. On the side of the left ocular is a numbered scale called the vernier. This scale should be set to zero. The objective lenses are a set of small tubes located just above the stage. They are mounted on a rotating platform that can move right or left. When they are in the right position, they snap into place. The objective is placed over the material. This is the lens you place over the object that you're observing. On your scope, there are several objective lenses. The scanning objective, the 4X, the lower power, 10X, the high dry, 40X, and the oil immersion lens, 100X. Remember, the longer the objective lens is, the more powerful it is and the closer that it will need to be to the material that you're focusing on. The highest power lens, which is the oil immersion lens, has a white ring near the bottom and should never be used unless oil is placed over the material to be observed. The stage is where the slide with the sample is placed for observation. The stage normally has clips that hold the slide in place. Also, there are movement controls on the side of the stage that moves the stage right to left and forward and backward. This helps position the material in the center of the area of view. These controls are moved by rotating knobs be below the stage. There are focusing knobs mounted above the base of the microscope that are used to move the stage up and down. The knob on the outside is the coarse focusing knob that moves the stage a fairly large distance. The knob on the inside is the fine focusing knob, and this one moves the stage small distances. When working with the low powers, which are the short objectives, use the coarse focusing knobs. When working with the high dry 40x and the oil objectives 100x, Use the fine focusing knobs. The condenser. The condenser is a large lens structure attached to the bottom of the stage. The condenser is responsible for focusing light through the object to be viewed. Always make sure that the lens of the condenser is clean. In the base, under the condenser, you see the light source. Between the light source and the condenser is the diaphragm. As light passes out of the light source, the opening in the diaphragm limits the amount of light that can enter the condenser, much like the pupil limits the amount of light entering your eye. There is a ring or a lever on the outer edge of the diaphragm that can be rotated or moved, and this will regulate the amount of light that can enter the condenser.